Eliza, a wisp of a girl with pigtails the color of spun sunshine, clutched Matilda tightly. Matilda wasn't your average doll, made of porcelain so pale it seemed translucent. Her features were delicate, almost otherworldly. Her eyes, though, were unsettling, chips of coal. They seemed to hold an ancient wisdom, an unsettling knowing. It started subtly. Objects moved on their own, a misplaced book, a dropped spoon. Eliza swore Matilda's vacant eyes followed her around the room. Her parents, John and Amelia, dismissed it as a child's overactive imagination. But the occurrences escalated. The lights flickered ominously. Whispers danced in the dead of night. And cold spots materialized near Matilda. The town buzzed with rumors. Whispers of a haunted doll. A demonic spirit trapped within porcelain. The local priest, Father Thomas, a man whose faith rivaled his booming voice, declared Matilda an abomination. News crews swarmed their doorstep, turning their lives into a spectacle. John, a history professor, became an unwilling skeptic, caught between reason and the mounting unexplainable events. Amelia, a devout woman, clung to her belief Matilda was just a doll, albeit a creepy one. One stormy night, the tension crackled thicker than the lightning outside. John, working late, heard a blood-curdling scream. He raced to Eliza's room to find her trembling, pointing at Matilda, the doll perched on the rocking chair, was rocking back and forth, a chilling melody emanating from its hollow body. The music, atonal and discordant, sent shivers down John's spine. As abruptly as it began, the music stopped, the rocking ceased, and Matilda lay inert. John, shaken, contacted a paranormal investigator, a woman named Eleanor with eyes as blue as winter frost and a calm demeanor that belied her profession. Eleanor spent days examining Matilda, her instruments humming a counterpoint to the unsettling silence. Finally, she revealed her findings. Matilda wasn't possessed. She was an amplifier, a conduit for residual energy, a sorrowful echo of a little girl who once lived in the house, a girl named Matilda, who died tragically years ago. The revelation brought a wave of relief and sadness. John and Amelia held a small ceremony, a goodbye to the spectral child and a promise to keep her memory alive. Matilda, once a source of fear, now sat peacefully on Eliza's shelf, a silent reminder of a life lost and the power of the unseen. The controversy died down, replaced by a quieter unease. The townsfolk never forgot the haunted doll, a constant murmur beneath the surface of normalcy. But for the Evans family, Matilda remained a chilling enigma, a whisper from the past forever etched in porcelain. 